This is another really cool feature that is available in Kirimoto 2.4. Um, and you get to it by choosing 2.4 under the version menu. And that is support for manual supports. Um, now, typically in the past, you know, supports were something that were auto-generated and there are a lot of parameters for that. But in 2.4, you can now choose manual supports and uh, fairly simple. You choose the points you want supported, either from the top or from the bottom. If you want to delete a support, you just click it again and it'll go away and you can hit slice and see your supports visualized. There is another interesting thing is that you can actually add supports in sliced mode. So you're like, oh, I sliced it and I want to add some more stuff. So click in there and then hit slice again and it's going to show up and you can go back and delete those same things um, by going into the add mode. So this is pretty cool. Um, supports will stay with your part if you rotate it in the X or Y, but if you rotate it in the Z, they will go away. So keep that in mind, it shouldn't be too confusing. And also, um, when you're adding supports, you can control things like the size of the added pillar that you're putting in there. So add nice beefy pillars. Um, they will be clipped to the part uh, boundaries. So if you add stuff that's just like way, way outside the part boundaries, you don't have to worry about it. It's going to be clipped at slice time <clears throat> to fit within the bounds of the part. So that's um, Oh, it's also durable across page reloads, so um, all your, your, your progress and whatever you're doing is preserved um, if you walk away or have a crash or whatever. So um, that's the feature. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Please report success or not or uh, suggestions on how it can be improved. Um, love to hear from you. So join us in the forums, link below, and um, thanks for watching.